December 8th. I think it's uh, the 15th day on the trip. And today we're just uh, picking our way through a bunch of squalls. Uh, we've got one ahead of us. That one's off to our south, won't bother us at all. This one behind us will probably catch up to us at some point, but it's a ways away still. This one over here is in the process of going by, just north of us, which is nice. Got a little rain from it, but nothing really big, just some wind. I uh, saw a gust up to 32, but with this going downwind, uh, it's been uh, pretty comfortable. Got the sail in to the second reef. Just kind of motoring along at seven knots. 42, 34, 36. Getting a little wind. from the south right now, they're over here, uh, so we've had to, had to head uh, much more west, uh, but I, I think it's only because of the squall, I think it's going to switch around immediately once we get past this, so uh, we're still seeing 30 knots of wind, and the rain hasn't really got here yet, but it's coming. Yeah, we're doing some good speed. along uh, about um, mid sixes up into the seven knot range. Um, we're running with a running off the wind with our um, Genoa reefed to the second reefing point um, and our, our uh, staysail filling to starboard. We also have um, quite a bit of sail in still on our main. We also have a lot of other running rigging um, that we don't usually see on board the boats. We have block um, on the tow rail, um, running our running our uh, Genoa sheet uh, all the way back like you would a spinnaker. Um, just just uh, works better that way. The boats, boats run, running beautifully. We haven't had any issues so far, and we are only about oh I don't know. And 400 miles left to go. So we uh, we caught onto the tail end of, of this squall here. It's starting to break up now, but for about for about a good hour, um, we just got pulled along it at uh, you know something like eight or nine knot speed over ground, and we ended up going so fast that we kept up with the storm with the squall, and has gotten us a lot of mileage. Although it's somewhat scary because these things are so powerful, we saw you know, wind speeds uh, upwards of 35 knots, and um, we are reefed down, but it's the you know, middle of the night, um, and um, it's uh, we have another boat right next to us. It's uh, that we both are kind of trying to go into the same space. Anyway, it's uh, it's, it's it's never a dull moment. So we had a uh, uh, genset uh, failure, and uh, Kevin is uh, taking a look at the filter, I guess. Yeah, usually yeah. it's the filters. So we're gonna kind of go with that and see. Make sure we're good on that. I just 
it out. The key here is you got to can't have air in the field, filter, filtering area, so you got to have some diesel available. Got to pour in on top, and it sucks that the boat's rolling. That's, that one's got kind of some nastiness. It might have nastiness. I've never looked. Get right through the filter. <laughs> Is that the uh, water intake uh, filter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just checking to make sure nothing is blo blocking it. Yeah. think we're something like 10 or 20 miles away from St. Lucia and um, winds are beautiful we've got a calculated you know the fact that we had a, a northerly current uh, that was going to bring us kind of to the entrance between Martinique and St. Lucia and that's working out and we're just uh, we're hitting six and a half seven knots and great wind and had a really nice little sunrise happening back there Notice pretty significant changes in the weather as we've come across. It started off clear and you know, sunny a lot, and then as we got in closer to the Caribbean, it started getting squalls, and you can see them building already. As the sun comes up, they'll, they'll fill in for the afternoon, and I hope that we can make it into port before then. I'd very much like to do that. It's, it's currently telling us sometime in late after late. Um, Sometime around noonish, um, and possibly after, a little bit after. But that's good. We'll arrive during the day. Where do you see land? Land ho! Straight ahead. Oh my God! Land! <laughs> Everybody's excited. Awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've been fending off the Living Daylights boat. Looks like they put their spinnaker down. I think they're a little worried about the weather. Um, but uh, it's going to be close. The, the, wet, the wind is dying down a little bit. And Talisman likes a lot of wind. So we're getting ready to get to the finish line. The squall caught up to us right at the last moment. There's the island of St. Lucia straight ahead of us, which is kind of hard to see. Um, we're getting ready to round the point, Pigeon Island. <laughs> you see him 40 knots a minute ago. Luckily, we are fairly reefed on our sails. Not, we could have done reefed more, but we didn't have them all out, which is good. If the wind stays like this, we can go for uh, two more miles. If the wind shifts, then we need to move the head, so. Rival. Okay. 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 <laughs> I was pushing, but it's... Yeah, it's not working. It's wet. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the boat that I was saying that uh, could make it, it's mm -hmm. going to make it, it's right there, yeah. but it's not Elga. 
It's not. Helga is uh, somewhere around, somewhere back there. Okay. We don't want to care about Helga because they're in our division. Yes, it is. Well, at least what I think, uh, I'm not sure about this. It does. But uh, but on the AIS they were showing they're driving and going uh, right on our stern. Okay. They've been coming and going out of AIS. They have got two hits on the main So maybe that's them after all. Mark finish line. Uh, Roger, your marks for the finish line are northern mark is a yellow buoy. Your southern mark is a yacht and anchor flying in an orange banner on its bow. Nice to see some piece of land, you know, after 19 days and some more hours. And the weather is so beautiful today with this rain and all this. I can't wait. We are so close to being done and it's so exciting to finally get there, have, uh, have this journey uh, complete. What a, what a great time we've had. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's been a great trip, I really enjoyed it so far, it's been wonderful, we just have to make it that last little bit, no falling down at the finish line. Almost there. Six and a half, six and a half. Oh look, a rainbow, calling us back across the Atlantic. What is going on, Wendy? We are just about to cross the finish line. Yeah. We are getting there. Yep, just about there, it's about time. Yeah, Luis. Oh yeah, Great. finally here. <laughs> finally here. Let's see the, the boys and the, the... You see the orange boy? It's right here. Okay. That's it. There's a big ship. There's a big ship. Straight ahead of us. Oh, okay. I see it now. Ready to go. Ah, it's perfect. You see the orange boy? Crossing. Twenty seconds. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm gonna ease the the Geno so we can bear away from that boat. Then we can, far, well, we can start the engine. Start the Just engine. check. No, no lines on the water. Espera aí. Okay. Okay.
Vê se aí mais. Pode descansar? Well. I need to take some clothes off. <laughs> I'm boiling. Well, tonight's the award ceremony and the last boat is arriving right now. It's being towed in. So we're gonna, gonna help get them tied up here in a second. They're making a big deal about it. It's nice of them to arrive just in time. I'm glad they made it. Look at this, this is the longest distance sailed. Wow! Yeah. It's exactly all over the place. That's a fast boat, baby! Yeah.